Somewhere in the Mojave Desert's El Paso range, there is a strange tunnel that traverses 2,087 feet of solid rock up in Copper Mountain. What's strange is that it doesn't lead to anywhere special. It simply emerges on the high ledge, in the middle of nowhere. The only reason it exists is because an eccentric man named William Henry Bureau Schmidt, aka the Human Mole, wanted it there. He spent 32 years in order to realize his life goal. Schmidt first migrated to the California desert from Rhode Island in the late 19th century in order to improve his health. He is believed to have started digging the tunnel in 1902, near the site where he had staked a mining claim. Ostensibly, he meant to use the tunnel as a shortcut through Copper Mountain for carrying his ore to a smelter on the other side. That seems improbable, however, because the tunnel emerged on the high ledge in the middle of nowhere. Schmidt used mostly hand tools and explosives in his excavation. He removed rubble with a wheelbarrow. Sometimes he carried it out on his back. Later in life, his abdominal muscles were so strong that they forced him to bend permanently and caused him a lot of pain. Eventually, Schmidt installed rails for an ore car. In the fall, he would take his two bureaus, the source of his nickname Jack and Jenny, and head back up to Copper Mountain to resume his compulsive excavation of the tunnel. Many times he was seriously injured by his own explosions while digging the tunnel, because he was too frugal to use a long fuse. At one point, the locals called him Jack S. Schmidt, and later in life he took on the name Bureau. He braved falling rocks and precarious traps, and despite the construction of a road in 1920 that eliminated the need for a tunnel, he continued to dig. Claiming to be obsessed and unable to stop until the job was done, Schmidt chipped away while others shook their heads, assuming he was crazy. Although he spent 32 years of his life single-handedly digging a half-mile-long tunnel through a solid granite mountain, he never talked much about it. When questioned about his bizarre project, he simply replied that it was a shortcut, to where no one really knows. He might have started out as a treasure seeker, but a few years in, he might have just kept going in order to allow his body to break under the force of the desert. It is speculated that Schmidt needed to create the shortcut to bring his gold ore from the mine to the market. But when the construction of a new road made his effort unnecessary, he still chose to continue the grueling. He lived a life so simple that the theory of hidden treasure simply doesn't check out. Several people have explored Schmidt's land and work in an attempt to find some answers to his life's work, but he left no records of his motivation. The tunnel still stands today as a memorial to the crafty miner, who feigned obsession and kept his treasure to himself, but it also stands as a memorial to unbelievable grit and determination. You can walk the length of the tunnel, which is structurally sound, within about half an hour.